Hey, what's going on, you guys? Jamie here. Obviously, Jamie. Uh, I should almost start this video over because that was pretty awkward. Um, so I'm sitting here cleaning up this room that I have all of my stuff in. It's the room I do mirrorless minutes in. It's the room I keep all my camera gear in. And if you've watched this vlog for any given time, you've seen the mess that this room is. So I've been trying to clean it up today, but I keep getting sidetracked. I keep sitting down at the computer and... <sighs> Getting on social media, you know, checking out Twitter, um, back and forth to Flickr, uh, looking at some photos to maybe pop up onto Instagram, checking Facebook, YouTube, you know, it's just never ending. And it got me wondering. Uh, so I share a lot of stuff on social media. It's just kind of what I do. I've been doing it since, well, before I was even involved with Olympus. And then since getting involved with Olympus, I've done it more. And I guess the end game for me is to try and sort of build a little bit of a brand for myself or about me, you know, as a Michigan-based photographer. Um, and been kind of pushing myself towards um, some of the different social media outlets that are Michigan-based, you know, that are all about Michigan. So, for instance, the Pure Michigan ad campaign. Uh, which is being broadcast nationally. I've been sharing my work with them and fortunate enough to have, um, I think, a couple of images shared now with them. And uh, and now, most recently, the uh, Visit Grand Haven uh, social media channel, which is the official channel for the small town of Grand Haven on the west side of the state, probably one of the most popular tourist destinations in Michigan, uh, had an image shared today and they have another one of mine that they're queuing up for another share soon and it just all this work that goes into it and it just has me wondering is it does it seem like too much to you guys do I seem to share too much or not enough um, I try to just share and do all of this as just me you know I, I want to build this brand but I don't want it to be like um I don't know. I don't want it to be fake or I don't want it to feel contrived. I want it to be just who I am. You know, I'm kind of a goofball sometimes. And, you know, that's just kind of what's going to come across in my brand. And just I, I just do a lot of thinking about social media and just wonder if the way I'm going about it is effective. I mean, I personally feel like it's effective. It's been a slow growth. You know, my Twitter numbers aren't big. My Instagram numbers aren't big. Um, but it's 100% organic. It's not faked in any way. It's, you know, pretty well, um, all photography based. I mean, although I've been picking up a lot of weird Twitter followers lately, but for the most part, everything I do is extremely, extremely photography community based and photography brand based. And, um, so I personally feel like it's working well. I'm just curious, you know, about what you guys think, you know, about me as a brand, you know, as me as photographer, um, you know, do I come off as just a normal guy? Cause I am, <laughs> I don't want to come off as anything other than that. Um, yeah, it's just one of those weird things, you know, that I was, that I've been thinking of on and off for a while now, actually, you know, just figured I'd use the vlog outlet, another social media channel that I'm on. Um, as a way to put that out to people to just kind of get some feedback on it you know i mean i don't know what to expect for responses you know um i just hope that i continue to be um viewed as just a genuine just a regular guy who loves to shoot photos uh, i'm gonna kill the camera for a minute here i'm gonna have to go back and do a little bit more cleaning and i'll probably come back to this in a minute it's eight o'clock so we're running kind of late into the evening um so maybe I won't kill it. Maybe I'll just keep it running. Um, before I go, though, I just have a quick question. Did the vlog post the other day talking about changing up how you shoot like a landscape, did that resonate at all? Um, it's funny. I had a comment, you know, that mentioned, you know, well, it's kind of common knowledge or it made it sound like it was common knowledge that, you know, shooting a long focal length for a landscape is commonly done or more widely done and though to be honest with you like i don't that's not how i shoot and granted you know when working with a uh a extremely wide angle lens like the 7 to 14 or something like that or even 12 millimeter on the micro four thirds cameras as wide as they are it's still commonly the my go-to lens for landscape work um 
so to get feedback saying you know that well of course people should shoot you know telephoto i was kind of shocked at that i thought that it was something not very common so i'm probably going to at some point do a little investigation to see just how common it really is it's funny how when you think you have an idea it's there, there are no new ideas they're just uh someone new telling you that it's an old idea i guess anyways just curious if you guys like those kinds of tips even if they are redundant tips i guess um you guys take care i'm out of here this mess is never going to be cleaned up until i can get rid of that bed i'm trying to remember who suggested that i get rid of the bed back there but you're right it is it's the catch-all for everything i just got to convince my wife that we're never going to have somebody up here sleeping in this bed <laughs> so if i can do that I'll have more space. I'm trying to convince her that she can use it as a workspace for her crafts. Wish me luck. All right, you guys. Take care. Thanks for being subscribers. It means a lot. And I love your guys' feedback. See ya.